All right, guys, got a boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and I got the workbench out because I want to show you a couple things. Um, we got a bunch of different things going on. I mean, right now I'm uh, developing a load for the six millimeter arc. Uh, I did talk to the guys over there at Proof Research, and I tell you what, uh, from what they've told me, and then secondly, Johnny's reloading bench, love that dude. He developed a load, which gave me a lot of confidence to continue moving forward with this thing. If I can put this rifle into a sub MOA alignment, then man, we've got ourselves a real winner. Uh, but that's like one of those rifles that's purpose built for that uh, Sniper's Unknown Challenge. So what I wanted to do in the meantime, I wanted to address the pandemic. I haven't done a video specific to the pandemic. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a video uh, series based on what I call the Pandemic Project. Doesn't that sound cool? The Pandemic Project. Now, what is the Pandemic Project? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Pandemic Project is about building an economical AR-15 during the pandemic. Now, I know that there are some people out there that have no problems finding all the parts and pieces, but you know what? They are kind of hard to come by these days. So I thought with the help of you people who have had no problems finding stuff, you can share your resources down below. <laughs> I know, right? All right. So anyway, what I wanted to do, I had this, I got this really cool idea. I've had it for a long time now of what I wanted to do is I wanted to build a series of rifles that were identical so that I could just have them. I know that sounds kind of vain, but it is what it is. I mean, I've got a bunch of AR-15s, but, and if somebody asked me, why are you spending all your money to build, I want to build four, four identical rifles. And it's going to happen over time. It, it's not going to happen overnight because one, the, with the pandemic going on, you're not going to find the parts and pieces like you did six months ago with just laying around, people putting them on sale. I mean, lower parts kits, $30, $29.99, that kind of thing. They're not going for that anymore. But there are some deals out there. And what I've been able to do is over a period of time of, say, like three months, I've been able to put together a little shopping list here and there. Now, a couple things. I will tell you this. So... I got this little handguard right here. This is a pretty cool little deal. It reminded me of like a Geisley with the uh, big knuckle down here. Uh, this I, this is off of AliExpress. This is the Chinese Express right here. Guys, don't don't waste your money on fifty dollar AliExpress Chinese made junk. Uh, the paints it's this thing's painted. It's already wearing off. It's chipping off. I can actually scrape it off with my fingernail right there. Uh, like I said, one of my things is a pet peeve from mine is when you mount. The handguard is when you tighten it up, it does it raises up, and then you have a gap between this location here and here and here. Big pet peeve of mine. And I'm gonna talk about that here in a few minutes. But I was actually looking at these things. Like for 50 bucks, for $200, I can get four identical handguards, which is important because I want the handguards to match. And then I, I bought this. I wanted to give it a try just to see, and it just it was less than uh, you know what I would find to be acceptable on any level on even a junk AR. So, uh, buyer beware this thing right here. All right. So off of AliExpress, we're going to, we're going to hang that on the wall over here. Okay. So where, what would I do? And this is just kind of a little chat. Uh, by the way, we're going to do this U loader. This is by Podovich, Podovich store. Guys over there at Optics Planet sent this to me to uh, show you guys. And then KB32 is the new discount code. Let's talk about Optics Planet real quick. A um, couple things. I've ordered several parts off of Optics Planet, one being uh, a spur scope mount. Literally had that at my house in three days. Now, some people will be, I know you're out there that are not happy with Optics Planet. I, I totally get it. But what the key element to buying anything from Optics Planet, guys, if you see the words check availability, steer clear. Make sure it says in stock. Okay? Those are the key items. I literally ordered, and I don't have the other one, I ordered this handguard from the guys over there. Uh, last Thursday, and they got here today. Um, let's see, no. Yeah, yeah, last Thursday, and it was delivered today. What is today? Tuesday. So I'm really impressed. Uh, and we'll be doing a review on this. This is the new uh, AR-15 Ultra Slim Free Float Rail System from UTG Pro. These are made in America. 
That's one of the reasons why I opted to go ahead and go a little bit more expensive. Uh, and again, one of my pet peeves is to see if it uh, this handguard rises up. And you'll notice that what happens is the barrel will start sinking lower and lower in your handguard. And I that is that is one of the things I just can't abide by. So I wanted to buy one just to see how it would work. And though so far, this guy, uh, it sits. And what I do is I put it on a table like this and it sits flush all the way from front to back over here. So the big key is to make sure that this little part in your AR receiver unit right here sits flush with your flat table or a piece of granite or linoleum or whatever you got. Uh, but anyway, countertop, but you can tell if you bang on it like this, you don't get a whole lot of noise. All right, big pet peeve. I, you know, and here's the real reason, one of the reasons I wanted to just do a little chat because I'm going to tell you something, man. There's shit going on in this world right now that just chaps my ass. And I get so... the hell is that noise? Oh, I get so fired up over it that I really... I, I'm scared of what I may say on, uh, on video. It's that bad. It really is. Now, so let's go through this. Uh, handguard. Order the handguard. From Optics Planet, I think I paid $132 with my discount of KB32 <laughs> half the door delivered because anything over $49, $49.99 I think it is, is free shipping, which in my book is some okay stuff. Now, uh, upper stripped upper receivers, I think I got these about two months ago. Uh, there was a deal. Now, here's the key element. If you are, uh, if, if you're registered on any of these websites and they say that it's not in stock, get the alert of when things come back in stock. And I'm not, I'm, I'm probably not speaking, telling you guys anything that's secret, but for you guys that don't know, do that. Just today, Big Duddy Unlimited had to, uh, the CMC, I don't know if it's a CMC, uh, WMD, uh, lower parts kits came back in stock. So what you do is, man, keep some money in reserve, uh, like this, the uh, CMMG lower parts kit. This guy, I got this off of Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, if you can find a link on that on my website. Now, one thing that I will tell you about Big Daddy Limited, they do take a while to get things shipped out, but you will get your stuff, okay? Um, but anyway, the $49.99 for this thing, okay? Uh, or something where thereabouts. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you the price or whatever, but for $9.99 a month, if you're building a bunch of ARs or you're building a bunch of gun parts or whatever, it's not a bad deal. But, uh, Anyway, I went ahead and took the liberty. They didn't have a limit on these things, so I ordered four, which in my mind was a hell of a deal because we're trying to build four ARs. Uh, same goes with this. I was looking for buffer tube systems. Man, they've been sold out like it's going out of style. This is the uh, BCM uh, buffer tube, spring, buffer, uh, castle nut, rear base plate, all in one. Uh, this is not the one with the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the QD lock mount in the base plate. I didn't really care about that, but I think these were, were, came back on sale for like $38, $39, something like that. So I picked up four of these. Uh, but slowly but surely, and I'm kind of glad, that, you know, okay, I say this, I'm kind of glad that they're, they're, the parts and pieces are not available because, man, I'm sick and tired of going broke every month. Uh, Anderson, my local gun store, uh, had these in stock, so I went ahead and picked up one or two every month until I had enough to go ahead and satisfy. So I've got four of these guys. Um, barrels. Now this is going to blow your mind. You see this guy right here? This is just a uh, phosphate finish or whatever it is. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. And this is chambered in 223 Wild 1 and 8 twists which is my, my favorite chamber and twist rate for any barrel out there. Now, $89.99. Free shipping, by the way, and it was at my door in less than 48 hours. Now, they're in North Carolina, and I don't know how the hell they did it, but they got the order in, shipping label was done, and literally the next day it was at my house. So, Bear Creek Arsenal, kudos to you guys. Um... Is, am I looking for a match grade in these rifles? No, I'm not. What I'm looking for is something that's operational. It's kind of cool, man. You know, you got your mafia or your militia at your house, and everybody's got their, we can do uh, arms inspection, you know, and everybody's got the same rifle. So think about it. So anyway, M4 feed ramps. I mean, 
for I think $89.99. I don't know what they were. I think they were $99 a piece. But uh, this is one of the items that uh, I, I needed to have the M4 uh, profile, 16 inch, 223 wild, one and eight twist. I'll do a review on this guy and we'll do an accuracy test on it down the road. I know that Bear Creek Arsenal contacted me a couple days ago. I bought these, by the way. Um, I, one of the things I can't stand is when I need some shit, I go ahead and buy it. I don't, I don't need to be out there begging for whatever, hoarding it out. But uh, you know what? I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing operates. Now, bulk carrier groups, I've already got those in stock. Uh, I am planning on, as you guys know, I, I'm a, this channel is supported heavily by primary arms, so big surprise on what optic I'm going to put on there. Uh, so we're going to be testing out a lot of optics moving forward with this. I got the green Cyclops. That thing's badass. The five times prism scope and the three times prism scope are also available right now for sale. Uh, if you go to my website, KB32TAC, and you go into the deals page and click through the primary arms link, it'll take you over there. And then, you know, daddy, I get help, you know, helps the channel out. Doesn't cost you any more money, but I really appreciate it. But at the end of the day, that is what that lower is looking like. And I'm digging this uh, UTG handguard. It has a knurling on the side and it uh, is really effective. You got some M locks uh, on the side here, uh, nothing on the top. You got an M lock on the bottom right here. Uh, knurling along the underside of it right here. It is a uh, barrel nut system where it's screwed in to the sides and on the bottom. Uh, something a little different from their usual slim line. But it's one of those things that I always, I, I take notice of how it's centered. Now, we still have a couple items left. And that's going to have to wait till next month, which are the gas block, gas tube, uh, dust cover, charging handle. And, uh, oh, muzzle brake. Now, I one of my favorite muzzle brakes, and I am, I'm trying to find them, they're the Yankee Hill uh, Phantom. They're a little bit, they're like the A2, but they're a little bit longer. It's probably one of the best muzzle brakes. Do I have any over there? Uh -uh. It's probably one of the best muzzle brakes on the market that you could have. Yankee Hill Machine. I love their stuff. They do make good stuff. Um, that's it. I just wanted to have a real quick chat with you guys. No, no particular agenda other than just say, hey, man, look at this new series. But the Pandemic Build Series. And uh, when parts and pieces come in, we'll go through it, where to buy it. Uh, the majority of my stuff comes from uh, Optics Planet now, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, uh, Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, who else do I buy? Midway USA. Do I have parts out here? I love shopping at those guys. On occasion, Brown L's, uh, that pistol that I put together the other day, I did buy the barrel and the spring and the uh, drive, the guide rod from Brown L's. Um, we are doing a lot of reloading and actually got a bunch of stuff. I get a bunch of stuff off of Amazon still. As, as a matter of fact, with the reloading stuff, like uh, <laughs> your, uh, your RCBS stuff does not come with a shell holder. And I tell you what, when I'm moving around from press to press and, and trimming and doing whatever, uh, six millimeter arc is a number 12 uh, Lee uh, universal shell holder, number 12. I ordered two more of those things because I found out they are just in, indispensable. Uh, ruined a whole series of 50 uh, cases yesterday. A six millimeter arc uh, with the RCBS uh, things. I had the uh, crimp section set too tight and it just destroyed the shoulders. And I just ran through, I, I was grabbing the damn things, looking at the crimp, and which was really nice, but never observed the shoulders till about number 40. And I just looked at it and I was like, what the hell is going on here? And went back and I got to pull the bullets, get the uh, powder out, but I lost the primers uh, and the bullets and the cases from that experience. But we learning, learning from that experience. What else we got? Coming up, uh, we do have the uh, Sniper's Unknown Challenge stuff coming up. And one of the things I am going to do is I want to show you all the cool things that are instrumental in being successful in that deal. Uh, we're still trying to develop a round. Uh, Johnny's Reloading Bitch, he came up. He's using the Odin Works barrel. Um, yeah, but it, here's the thing. Any barrel has its own harmonics. I don't care. You can have the same manufacturer, but one barrel can be more accurate than the other. But he found the perfect combination of CFE 
223, 28.8 grains with a six millimeter arc and put a 0.335 group together at 100 yards, which is phenomenal, which gave me some inspiration to continue moving forward. We're going to go out this week uh, and test that rifle out uh, with the uh, loads we have here. I still got to uh, uh, seat the bullets in these guys right here. But moving forward, we'll get her done. Um, guys, if you have any questions, comments, like I said, I, I've shopped from a couple different primary sources. Uh, Palmetto State Army is getting some more stuff in in, in stock. Uh, their build kits are coming back down in price. Everybody quit freaking out about the pricing on everything because that was just a jump across the board. But what I'm looking at is everything's coming down. Now, we'll talk about what the election effect, the election effect is having on the market. You couldn't ask for a worse time. We've got the pandemic. We got all the riots going on. We have an election going on where there's a strong chance that that uh, sleepy asshole could uh, possibly win this thing. I'm hoping not. And we're all praying and hoping not. Uh, and then that's that's pretty much it. People are scared for their life because, uh, I, and in all honesty, I think that the police should just stop policing. Let the people police themselves. And let that be that. Because... All right, my memory card ran out. But anyway, like up there in Lancaster, uh, that was a justifiable uh, killing. Uh, the cop had to take the guy down. It was coming at him with a damn butcher knife. But people don't care. They're just looking for an excuse to riot, and 50% of the people that they arrested up there were not even from Lancaster. So anyway, it ought to be interesting to see what the upcoming years behold. we got the pandemic. But anyway, whatever. Let's just get on to it. Uh, the pandemic project. Uh Let's talk about where we're getting stuff, who's got stuff in supply. Uh, and also, you know, the higher end stuff is more readily available than the economical stuff. And that's one of the reasons why, man, when I found these guys right here over at Bear Creek Arsenal, I couldn't believe it. So we snatched them up real quick. That being said, guys, if you like the video, like stuff like this where we just have small chats, I'd really appreciate it. I'm worn out with, man, memory card ran out again. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, man, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. The Pandemic Project. Y'all give me some input on what uh, where you're getting your stuff at. Share it with the people down below. Let's go to War 32. I'm out. Y'all be good. Oh, yeah, and I ain't getting a haircut till after the election. Probably shave the beard, though, but no haircut. Y'all be good. I'm out.